What's up guys, Sean right here, back with, with another video. Today we're going to be doing a different kind of review today. We're going to be looking at the uh, Lionel um, Hershey's uh, train set. Uh, this is quite a simple train set, I'm more of, not a lion chief, but um, conventional. Um, just wanted to make a video on it, just to s tell people how I like it, and if, to, if you should buy it or stay away from it. Um, this is pretty inexpensive. I think this is around two hundred, at two fifty dollars for the whole set of uh, three cars of tender and a locomotive. Uh, first off, um, I'd like to say that uh, um, I've had this for a couple of years. Um, it's kind of worn. You can see a couple places where it could be worn, but um, I haven't used it too much. It's mostly been sitting, uh, more of a display piece. Um, so, it shouldn't have that much wear on it. The cars should have the most wear on it, as I've used these cars the most out of all of them. Um, so, let's get started into the video. Alright, we're gonna first start off with the locomotive and tender setup here. Um, number one, this is just your run-of-the-mill, um, Lionel 080. These are... Like, the default train they produce now. Like, I have multiple 080s. I have this one. And over there is a Pennsylvania steamer, which is the exact same 080 train, but just different paint scheme. And it's Lion Chief. But um, these two are the exact same setup, just has different color scheme. Obviously, um, the brown and silver paint scheme brown representing the chocolate silver representing the um the wrapper around the chocolate like hershey kisses um metal rods all right this is a smoking unit um has a this fake little bell here does not actually this locomotive does not have a bell control you the bell button on the um transformer over there will not work you have, to, there is no bell, you just, there's no, really no bell, oh, this is more of a conventional style of train, if you pull up one of the more, um, classic, uh, post-war, um, tenders like this one, you can see in the bottom of it, um, this is a little spindle that, it blew air into a whistle, and it kind of, like, made a fake whistle, I mean, it, it was an actual whistle, it was not a, there was no soundboard, and if you look on the bottom of this um tender here um has that same little area so i'm that's leading me to believe that uh this is there's no soundboard in this there is just a uh whistle system and it sounds like that as well that there is no uh soundboard it's just a whistle system but that's pretty cool that's a that's a cool thing they included um inside here you can see a uh right back here you can see a, um, you can barely see it, the lighting here, but, um, pull this up. You can see an, uh, engineer and a, um, driver. So, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, inside there. And, like, the number 1894, signifying the year Hershey's Chocolate was made. That's another nice feature, uh, boiler and stuff in here, fully, uh, detail but still just default brown they didn't add any color to it or anything uh same goes with the tender um default brown they didn't decide to color the coal pretty low quality they do have the nice hershey's uh you know here there's applied these uh, little rivets here bumps other than that um this light i don't think is a uh, operating light just for show but uh yeah, that's the uh, locomotive and tender. Now let's move on to the um, uh, rolling stock. First off here is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup box car. It is not Reese's, it is Reese's. Whoever calls it Reese's is not correct. It is Reese's. If you say it Reese's, then please exit out of this video. Because I'm calling it Reese's, and that's what they call it in the ads, so I'm right. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Um... 
just default box car here nothing special uh you know it's 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 all these ones have the uh magnetic couplers that i'm gonna show you but uh i guess that's the feature but down here on the bottom is literally the, the most worst detailed bottom of the box car ever it's just like orange everywhere pretty low quality all around but again this is not an expensive set so inside here we have um moving doors that door on the other side moves to and just some default inside areas nothing too special um basically just a run-of-the-mill box car with just the reese's logos on it so not much to say here so we're gonna move on to the next piece of rolling stock now we have this twizzlers um hopper slash gondola car um this one's a pretty good car um probably the most like special out of all of them Still kind of more of a default car. It's just a default gondola. But it has these nice little uh, Twizzlers like barrels or something. You can lift them up. And they're like, they're completely hollow on the inside though. So it's kind of like cheap. But um, you can like lift them up and you can be like running half load or full load or I don't know, sometimes happens. but uh, Or no load. And you can put something else in there like some wood or... Um, a barrel if you have if you have like those post war ones where they have barrels which i i have a couple of those i sometimes put barrels in these but yeah this is just your basic uh run the middle um hopper car not hopper uh gondola just got the uh, twizzler make mouths happy trademark on it kind of a cool little piece to have magnetic couplers as always um completely plastic aside for the uh wheels it's basically a uh, just a run-of-the-mill uh hopper i mean i, I keep confusing them run-of-the-mill gondola so that's really nothing to say here so i'm gonna go on to the final piece of rolling stock all right now we have this final piece of rolling stock you ignore the other stuff in the background it's just a shell uh uh tank car but uh this is a hershey kisses um uh which one it's a caboose uh sorry just a Hershey Kisses caboose, nothing too special. Blue and the brown for the chocolate, um, blue and white for the uh, packaging, obviously. And I, this is a, ah, uh, the train just turned on, but uh, this is a lighted caboose. Uh, so here you can see here it's got one central light in the inside there, just basically like the other ones. Like uh, you see so many of these, like even over here, this redding one the exact same thing it is there's no difference between them so it's just basically your cheap run the middle again like caboose and like i even see one over here it's the pennsylvania set again same same three same exact designs this one was even made by williams which is really weird that they have the exact same all three designs but that's aside from the point so just your basic run of the mill lighted caboose nothing else to say there um matt magnetic couplers and stuff but uh other than that not really anything so let's go to run the train and final review obviously all right now let's run this train um i want to do also include the uh, s2 k line but that'll be coming in a different video i'm gonna run it with probably these uh, cars though because that's that'd be pretty cool but uh, for now let's just focus on this so uh, let's give it a run and we're gonna also play the whistle while we're going
All right, that was me running the train. Um, now for the review aspect. Um, I'm going off of the performance of the train, the quality of the train, and just my personal um, opinions and stuff. Uh, number one, it performed pretty well. Um, it can pull like maybe uh, like 10, 15 cars. Not like, not like the heavy ones, but more like the lighter ones. But, um, I really don't like the dumb 080 setup. Those are way too overused trains. And I have multiple of them. This is the better 080. I do not like that line, Chief, at all. I mean, I, I actually, I like it, but I don't like it too much compared to this more conventional uh, train. But if I had to give it a rating on that it would only get like a three or two out of five actually not it would get a two out of five on like quality because this is like these train cars are kind of like on the lower scale of quality and this engine's just as default zero eight zero um but performance it'll get like a four and for my personal opinion on i really like this like, i really like the paint schemes on each car so i'm gonna give that like just like i'm i think out of ten this out of ten we get like a six six or seven around there i would recommend if you're newer if you're new into the hobby and just looking for something cheap to start out with i would get that this is how i got that train it was like my it was like my second or third train um that, that was like purchased aside from my original uh, two post wars back there i know that one's tape on it i'm fixing that um but Overall, this is like a six out of ten. Solid locomotive can like if you really if you're starting out and you need some, like a nice like start out locomotive, then this will totally be it. Has some pretty nice uh like uh rolling stock. I mean, it's not the highest quality, but again, uh, you have this lighted caboose, which is pretty cool. Um, but other than that, basically, um, this is an okay train. So, uh, if you like this video, um. Make sure to tell me and I'll make a couple more reviews or a review of one of the trains I have over here. I can do this uh, Union Pacific Line Chief or, oops, I can do the uh, 080 Line Chief. So if you want to see any of those, just tell me and I'll make them. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your day or a good rest of your evening or night or morning. I don't know, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye.